In mainstream physics, there is the idea of a graviton, a particle that carries the gravitational force. The idea is that gravitational fields are based on the exchange of gravitons. When objects interact gravitationally, gravitons are transmitted between them, carrying the gravitational force. This idea is very similar to the electromagnetic field, which involves the exchange of photon energy. The photon represents the particle nature of light within electromagnetic fields, just as the graviton represents the particle nature of gravity within gravitational fields. The theory explained in these videos puts forward an alternative explanation, explaining a process with no gravitons, because gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. Light photons play the part of gravitons, with both gravitational fields and electromagnetic fields moving at the same speed, the speed of light. Also, both gravitational fields and electromagnetic fields shares the inverse square law, representing the same spherical geometry. Spherical geometry naturally forms the inverse square law. We have to square the radius because the process unfolds relative to the curvature of the surface. This theory agrees with Einstein's idea that gravity is really an effect of space-time curvature. The interior of the sphere will naturally form three-dimensional space with each point on the curved surface of the sphere having the potential for a new photon as a probabilistic uncertain future unfolds. This process gives quantum properties to space and time itself, giving us quantum gravity